Hi, my name is Alba Rivas, and today I'm going to show you the different ways in which you can invoke a Salesforce function. In a previous quick take, we took a look at how to create, test, and deploy a function. If you haven't watched that video, I recommend you to watch it and I'll leave you the link here. The Salesforce function that we deployed in the previous video returns cat pictures using a Node.js library. Remember that we deployed this function to a compute environment that is associated with our Scratch org. Salesforce functions are invoked from Apex. You can invoke a function synchronously or asynchronously. When you invoke a function synchronously, Apex will pause the execution and wait until the function finishes. Let's first create some code that invokes our function synchronously. First, we get a reference for the function and we invoke it, optionally passing a payload. Second, we parse the returned JSON to obtain the data that we need. And third, we execute some logic. In our case, the logic is very simple. We just create a record for a custom object that we have created so that we can see those fancy cat pictures. So now let's push the code and invoke the Apex method that we have created. The function will run and let's take a look at the result. There we have our cat record was created successfully. This example worked correctly because the function didn't take long to execute. However, when the operation takes longer, it is recommended to invoke the function asynchronously. When you invoke functions asynchronously, you don't block the Apex transaction. So what we need to do in the code is to move the logic to a callback method. Great, so now let's push the code to our organization. Let's call the new method that we have created and let's take a look at the result. There we have a new cat record that has been created. We obtained the same result as before, but this time the Apex transaction wasn't blocked and the callback executed once the function finished. Being able to invoke a function from Apex means you can invoke it from almost anywhere in the platform. For instance, from a lightning web component or from a flow, which gives you infinite possibilities. Remember to check the functions developer guide to get started today and that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video remember to like it remember to subscribe to the channel too and click on the bell to receive notifications thanks for watching bye bye